Today is the day we tell cervical cancer loud and clear that your days are numbered. We have the tools to make cervical cancer history. This is a historic moment for global health. It marks the first time that the world has committed to eliminating a cancer. But today, cervical cancer is the second largest killer of women in low and middle income countries after breast cancer. And this is unacceptable when taking into account the available technology, policies and cost-effective measures for early diagnosis and treatment. Every year, we lose more than 300,000 women to a disease which is almost entirely preventable and potentially curable if diagnosed early. HPV vaccines are safe and very effective and can prevent up to 90% of all cervical cancer cases. The world has the knowledge and the tools to stop the spread of this killer disease. But this can only be achieved through political commitment, sustainable public-private partnerships, committed healthcare providers, and caring communities. And we must remember that effective services to prevent and treat cervical cancer can only be delivered by strong health systems built on the foundation of primary health care as part of every country's journey towards universal health coverage. Today is important not only because this is a concrete milestone for global health, Today is important because it is about the faces we often don't see, the people behind the statistics that we use every day. The global strategy articulates what needs to be done. Raise awareness and advocate at the highest level to keep the health and well-being of women and girls at the center of development agenda. And today we also say yes. We say yes to healthcare as a human right. Investments must be dramatically stepped up, barriers fully removed, services organized not only for, but with and led by communities of women. We cannot stay at the margins. This is the moment to be bold. The good news is that companies together announced that they will provide vaccines to reach 80 million girls in this next five-year strategic period. This strategy is an example of our determination to help countries continue to provide essential health services, especially for young girls, women, and those who remain extremely vulnerable. We have a disease that is it's a cervical cancer. We have a vaccine for it. Let's work and do everything in our capacity to, to eradicate that disease. And cervical cancer is a cancer that the world can now eliminate. As we have the momentum, the commitment, the partnership, the strategy and the tools, we now need to move forward to action. With sufficient political will and resources, elimination of cervical cancer is possible and can be achieved. All people, regardless of their gender identity, have a stake in ending cervical cancer. We can end cervical cancer, so we must. It is time to act. It's time to move forward now. Let's go and implement. Thank you for being here. And you've got a strategy now. It's available online. Let's go off and save lives.